In our Health Watch report, women aren't the only ones who should worry about breast cancer. Local 3's Shelly Bota has more. Making it to the NFL is a long shot, to say the least. Getting breast cancer as a man is almost unheard of. Experiencing both in the same lifetime defies all odds, but it happened to Paul Dombrowski. Paul Dombrowski pushed his body to the limit to reach the top. Not only did he make it to the NFL, the former Buccaneer was a two-time player of the year for the Patriots. Then breast cancer lined up against him. And I was yawning and I lifted my arm up and I ran my hand across my chest and I felt a lump. And immediately I knew it was breast cancer. He was shocked but right. Now I'm going to get my a mammogram. So first thing I do with the tech is like, how do I get this into that? The tumor was detected and removed early. Good news for Dombrowski, but he still worries about other men. We can call it your chest, you can call it your pecs, their breasts. Nicole Figueredo says men's breasts are built much the same way women's are. In 2018, more than 2,000 men will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer. Unfortunately, a lot of men um, with breast masses fail to go to the physician. That leads to breast cancer in men being diagnosed at later stages. Here's what to watch for. A firm lump behind the nipple, an itchy scaly rash, any change in shape or size, an inward pulling of the nipple. Thanks to his vigilance and preparation, Dombrowski can list professional football player and breast cancer survivor on his resume. Treatment for breast cancer in men is similar to women. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 3 News.